and it just didn't work. Like, I mean, I did a complete cut and paste of my videos folder on that drive. Uh, it did start to copy the, I mean, the move, but it said 560 something hours left. I was like, no. I was like, no, and tried and killed it. Then I tried to back out of the video folder, and it just froze up on my windows. On my File Explorer windows. File Explorer, File Manager, what is it? What is it these days in Ubuntu? Oh, it's just files. So, that turned... And trying to kill it almost brought my whole system down. And I had a video render going on at the time that, I, that had been running for several hours. So, yeah. And when it did finally quit, it took down almost every window on this system, desktop icons included. So, about 10 minutes later... I just fired up another files another files window and it brought my desktop icons back. So yay. Needless to say, I unplugged that drive from this system. But then I later plugged it back in to back up my uh, miscellaneous folder off the drive while I still could because it wasn't in the affected region, but still. But still. So after I did that, I took drive to my dad's Gateway FX 6381 computer and formatted and formatted the only partition on it. Thus erasing all the data off the drive. So so now you may have heard me talk about crystal disk info and stuff. Well, yeah. So, let me go ahead and plug this drive into my machine. Yeah, Crystal Disk Info showed me a caution warning whenever I first checked that drive. And it still is. I'll show you. So, first let me check my external hard disk. So, that is my replacement drive. Focus. You can see that blinky LED. Why won't this focus? Ugh. So, yeah. Meanwhile, while this is logging me in, let me tell you about this drive. Here's a box and everything. Uh, yeah. Very, very good packaging here. Two terabytes, Windows 10 compatible, automatic backup, so hardware encryption capable with this thing. Three year limited warranty. Backup software offers automatic open back cloud backup options and blah blah blah. Mac compatible, though you have to reformat the drive. I think EX. Yeah, I can use. I think, I think the best option here for Mac compatibility is to format the drive to EXT4. Though I would have to install this EXT2FS thing on all the Windows machines I intend to use it on. It's just a little bit of a management application for any EXT2, 3, and 4 drive. 
yeah crystal disk info yeah. it's under my recycle bin and left of my audio editing folder mm. so let me go ahead and bring that up so this looks purple here now you see good caution and good guess what that caution is health status caution and if we scroll down the list we see that current pending sector count ID number C5 has a raw value of 11 raw values 11 now that's going to be that drive now this has only had 384 power on count like it's only been powered up 384 times and it only has 874 power on hours and then if we check the E drive that's going to be uh, that drive so let me bring up past mark disk checkup going to re read the smart information from both drives so I'll select uh, disk 1 this is a touch screen display so if we check smart info and then go to current pending sector count it reads it as okay but it says a lower raw value should be better as indicated by that sorry so if I hover over that arrow it says lower raw value is better and if I head over to this information thing it says count of unstable sectors open parentheses waiting to be remapped because of unrecoverable read errors close parentheses if an unstable sector is subsequently read successfully the sector is remapped and this value is decreased and if that gets and if it gets remapped then it's probably going to then it's probably going to tick this reallocated sector count thing up threshold is 10 on this drive but still these 17 sectors have have completely hosed over my pictures folder and my videos folder in fact I can he hear the when I formatted this drive I could hear it making rhythmic clicking noises while I was formatting it and just to show you that I formatted the drive data storage of this drive and as you can see it is completely blank now local disk E is this drive and if I right click this and hit properties I've already used 351 gigs on this drive so yeah yeah, 351 gigs written in just a few hours of this disk's life. So, with the deteriorate, like, when I first noticed it, it was at less than 10. It was like 5 or 7, I think. And, st and then it made a huge hop to 13. And then it's made another hop up to 17. So, this, so with the deteriorating condition of this drive, 
I will be shutting that drive down. As in, it will no longer be used in any for any backup purposes ever. That's the washing machine. So yeah. So that's my external hard drive failure. This drive here shouldn't last me a lot longer than that previous drive. 